in uh, the Gauss genus theory and its uh, uh, not theoretic counterpart. So, uh, so uh, in this lecture, I first uh, discuss the uh, reason uh, behind um, that analogy is that comes from the analogies between the uh, link group and the Gauss group with restrict ramification. Uh, the link group and the uh, uh, Gauss group with restricted ramification. Now it's, I think, guess all, all uh, people here is the number theory type? <laughs> <laughs> Only one police? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, okay. Okay, so it's, uh, now it's uh, not side, it's... <clears throat> uh, let L is a link of our component. GL be a uh, link group of L. Uh, then uh, we have the lower center series. Uh, GLD is defined by the uh, as a commutator group GL and GL of D minus one commutator. This notation okay? The commutator. It's a lower center series. To link group. Uh, let xi be, uh, be the, uh, this is just word uh, representing uh, the meridian, uh, alpha i is a meridian. Of ki, the component ki. Uh, so f is going to be the free group. This is a free group on the, uh, this award, on the, this word on the XI. Okay. Uh, then uh, the, uh, this is a theorem by Mirna. So, uh, the for any uh, D is natural number, uh, there exists the word. Uh, in F, uh, this is which represent. Oh, okay, uh, this represent the beta i, the longitude of k i, uh, such that the nilpotent quotient has the following presentation. Uh, this is uh, generated by x one to x r. Uh, subject to the relation is x1 to y1 um, d equal to the uh, uh, xr y r d and I should put the fd is 1 because uh, I, I take the nilpotent quotient here and uh, y i d is concurrent to y i d plus 1 mod uh, actually mod uh, F D, F of D. Okay. Uh, this is Milner's theorem. Okay. <coughs> and moreover, what's that? Uh, if you uh, yes, this is Milner's theorem. It is fine and. Uh, another way to uh, uh, state this theorem is that follows. Uh, suppose that we take uh, any prime number, L, yes, uh, 
this is any prime number. It's, I take this as an auxiliary prime. <coughs> then uh, we define the uh, L uh, lower center of series. Uh, is, yes, GL hat is, this is a pro L completion. Is it okay, pro L completion? Maybe for number series, it's uh, no, no, no. Pro L completion, but this is uh, the uh, project limit of the GL mod GL DL. This is a L lower center series defined by D power L. Yes, this is defined by this one. So uh, we take we're taking a prior completion, it's a corollary. Uh, the uh, prior group, this prior group has a following presentation as a prior group. This one to Excel. That's at uh, X1, Y1, XL, YR is 1. Here's YI is a uh, uh, limit of yi, this word yid, yeah, this is inside, this is in the f pool f hat, this is pro completion of f. Okay. This is a corollary of Milner's theorem. Just remember this theorem. Now we have a prime case, let's discuss the prime case. <coughs> Let's take S uh, to be the final set of uh, prime number. This R distinct prime number. And uh, let's just take L is uh, any prime number such that uh, the each PI is congruent one model. So if uh, each pi is an order prime number, you can take L to be a 2. If this is an order prime number, then you can take L to be 2. And then that GSL is the, uh, this is a pro L et al fundamental group. So this is a pro L, uh, maximal, uh, maximal pro L quotient. of the whole Gala group GS is this et al fundamental group of spec Z minus S. <coughs> I take pro L quotient. Uh, now Xi is a word. Uh, yes, uh, this is uh, the word uh, representing monodromy uh, tau I over pi and let f hat be the uh, free prior group on this word then the, uh, the theorem by Koch Helmut Koch is Helmut Koch says uh, uh, GSL has a following presentation as a prior group. This is generated by F1 to Fxr with the presentation X1, P1 minus 1, X1, Y1, Xr, P, I, R, R, PR minus 1, Xr, Yr equal 1. Yes, yi is a word, pro L word. This is a pro L word representing uh, Frobenius over pi. So now we have a, a, a this is an analogy clearly the, between the Milner theorem. You look at this one, you look at this theorem and this theorem. 
And the four venues correspond to the longitude, and the meridian correspond to the monodromy here. <coughs> uh, this is the analogy behind the, uh, those analogies I discussed uh, 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 in the previous lecture. So just remember this. This is important analogy. Now, but uh, based on this analogy, I uh, discuss the uh, uh, analogy between higher order uh, linking number. It's called uh, Milner invariant. And multiple power as your symbol. So as we saw that the linking number yes, linking number is this is abelian invariant. Linking number is abelian invariant. This means uh, invariant mod the commutator subgroup of link group. Linking number is uh, abelian invariant. So that we the seek for higher order invariant name is mod we consider higher order uh, nilpotent quotient. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Milner invariant. Milner invariant. Oh, this is higher order linking number. Let me give you some example. Uh, example is like this. This is K1, K2, this is K3. Let's see this link. You may see by, by this picture, you can see that all linking number of Ki and the Kj is zero. Uh, this link is called the Boromian link. Boromian link. You may see that uh, so Ky is under K2, right, in here. So the K1 and K2 is not linked, are not linked. And the K3, oh, oops. Yes, K3 and the K1 is not linked, and the K2 and the K3 is also not linked, so all linking number is zero. You see the by, by this picture, right? All linking number is zero. But if you write the beta 3, this is the longitude. Uh, yes, this is the longitude of uh, K3. Uh, the meridian, let me write the meridian here. This is uh, alpha 3. This is the meridian. It's a uh, loop. It's this is alpha 1. It's a meridian loop. Yes. Alpha uh, 2. This is a meridian loop. Okay? Meridian loop is. Yes, this is a meridian loop. So looking at this meridian loop, and the longitude, beta, beta 3 is this. Beta 3 is uh, that's the K3. Beta 3 is the longitude of this, so okay, this is K3. Beta 3 is K3. Beta 3 is uh, expressed by alpha 1 and alpha 2, alpha 1 inverse, alpha 2 inverse, by looking at this picture. So this is in, uh, in the, the commutator subgroup of GL. Right? So it's, uh, uh, so mo if we take mod 2, right? If we take mod 2, there's, there's no information. Here, so we have to uh, 
look at the beta 3 mod GL of third, third, third lower central series, then <coughs> uh, we get, we can derive the some uh, number, it's called mu invariant. This is one. This is triple, triple mu number. So uh, this link L is not trivial link. So now I will define the how is the Milner number. What is Milner number? I define the Milner. Okay. Uh, so <coughs> let's recall the Milner theorem. Is this nilpotent quotient has a the following presentation. Okay. <coughs> presentation. Well, F is a free group generated by X1 to XR. Free group. Okay. XI correspond to the meridian group alpha of ki y is the longitude of ki okay. <coughs> now we consider the magnus embedding The, uh, uh, into the link of formal power series. Uh, this is a link of formal power series. With non commutative, with non commutative variables. X1 to XR is a non-commutative variables, okay, uh, which is defined by sending XI to the 1 plus XI, and the XI inverse uh, goes to X1 minus XI plus XI square minus 10, 10, 10. <coughs> right. This is Magnus embedding. Uh, the free group uh, this, this is like a Taylor expansion. This is a formal Taylor expansion, uh, non-commutative. <laughs> then I like this, F goes to the one plus uh, some coefficient, it's a new one, new O N, F. to uh, this is one to our <coughs> okay. I use this notation uh, this is uh, uh, in sense that that uh, Taylor I mean, coefficient of the Magnus, Magnus coefficient of the Magnus expansion of F <coughs> okay Now, uh, we take D to be sufficiently large. And we expand the uh, uh, longitude uh, with respect to the meridian, uh, this meridian. So this, and then we write the uh, uh, Magnus coefficient, I1 to Inj. Simply, here is J, the xi1, xin. Uh, this uh, coefficient 
Here is called the Milner number. Uh, this is the integer. <clears throat> but to get the link invariant, you have to uh, some de some define some indeterminacy. Uh, delta delta uh, uh, let me delta i is uh, this this is just a technical thing. De this is just a technical thing. It's the greatest common divisor of new j. Uh, here is j is a, a cyclic permutation. Cyclic permutation of a proper proper subset of i. A cyclic permutation means that 1, 2, 3, if i is, yes, if, if the cyclic permutation 1, 2, 3 is 3, 1, 2, or 2, 3, 1, uh, 2, 3, 1, like this. This is a cyclic permutation. We consider, I consider the proper subset of i and take a, a cyclic permutation. And this is g l d. And, uh, uh, just by convention, uh, delta i and delta i j is zero. The Milner invariant is defined. Milner invariant defined by the new i mod delta i. So basically, so uh, basically, the Milner invariant. This is called the Milner invariant. Milner invariant is uh, defined by the uh, mag uh, Magnus coefficient of the longitude with respect to meridian. Then the theorem Milner uh, that that firstly, new i j is uh, simply the linking number of Ki and Kj. The first Milner invariant is uh, uh, Milner invariant is integer. Actually, the indeterminacy indeterminacy is zero, so we don't have to take the modular delta i uh, if uh, the length of i is two. And uh, general, uh, if if we take these sufficiently enough, then new i one i n is uh, this is indeed a link invariant. This is a link invariant means if I L and L prime as a, uh, uh, equivalent as a link, then the, we get have the same number. Same, same number is new bar here. <coughs> okay, this means uh, there is many choices of uh, take uh, of the take uh, many choices for the meridian, the world X I and world Y I. The, the choice is dependent on conjugation because the loop, because x i and y i represent a loop. So if you take another loop, then it's a data conjugate. So there is many choices for x i. But uh, if you take a new bar, take a modular indeterminacy, this is, doesn't depend on such choices. That's a, this is the meaning. Yes. yes. For this case, <coughs> For example, uh, this situation. Yes. For example, this situation. Write it again. I said beta three is uh, alpha one, alpha two inverse, alpha one, alpha two inverse, Ar uh, alpha one, alpha two, alpha one inverse, alpha two inverse. Same, right? So, Magnus expansion y three is one plus x one. 1 plus x2, 1 minus x1 plus x2 square, x1 square, minus the dot dot, and 1 minus x2 plus x2 square minus dot dot dot. So if you expand this, then you get the 1 plus x1, x2 plus x2, x1 plus a higher order term that the degree is bigger than equal to 3 term. So it's no <laughs> degree one term. 
No degree one term means that all linking number by zero. Okay. And but here is just one. This is one. From this term, you get a new one, two, three is one because the coefficient here is one. Uh, this one is this one. So mirror invariant is one, the triple mirror invariant one, so this link is not trivial. Okay. Now the arithmetic side, I'll discuss the arithmetic side. This is the interesting thing. Oh, sorry, uh, the one thing I think I sh maybe I should, I should mention. Oh. Maybe I don't have enough time. It's, suppose that HN is a Heisenberg group. HNR is a Heisenberg group. R is some commutative ring. Uh, then for I is in this define the map of the row I of um, F2 HNR uh, by sending F goes to uh, this matrix. Then we can show this is a group, actually it's a group homomorphism. Uh, moreover, we have the following uh, theorem, uh, which is due to uh, Murasugi. Uh, basically, uh, this is Murasugi's theorem. Uh, I think, uh, so actually, this homomorphism factors through <coughs> GL. So as low factors through GL, so we can map group homomorphism GL to GL mod Z. Of, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. This, this R should be uh, Z mod delta I. This R is any, any, any commutative ring. Z mod delta i. Then the uh, beta n, this is the longitude of, uh, uh, sorry, beta r. Beta r, it, this is longitude of kr of kr goes to uh, this matrix. This here is we appear the new I. Yeah. So uh, so if if y i over k i x uh, x l is this is a, a Galois cover. This is an important cover. Cover. The correspond to the kernel of delta i as a Baigawa theory. Uh, kind of row i is a subgroup of GL. So there is some corresponding unimportant covering. There is a uh, corresponding gala covering whose gala group is given by this group. <coughs> uh, this is, a, in fact, this is subjective momorphism. Uh, 
um, the, uh, <coughs> then there's the KR is completely, this knot is completely decomposed in, in YI if and only if new by new by mirror nine variant is uh, banished. So this is a, uh, the meaning of the mirror nine variant in terms of the covering. Okay. So the binary, uh, the analogy is between the mirror serum and the coho serum. We can do the same thing, same thing, all the same thing for the prime numbers. So the mirror, we can, uh, we can define the arithmetic mirror number of which describe there are some decomposition law in the nilpotent extension, nilpotent extension of, of the number field. was a prime case. So maybe it's for number series. This, uh, this case will be interesting case. <coughs> because, uh, so now let S be the uh, R distinct prime number. R distinct prime numbers. Uh, each one is congruent to one module, module some uh, prime number L. The L is the prime number. Uh, this prime number is nothing to do with a knot here. Uh, this each PI is a PI is correspond to knot KI here. Uh, this prime number is just the auxiliary, auxiliary prime number. I take this. Then GSL has a following presentation by Koho's theorem. By Koho's theorem, we have this theorem. <coughs> Let F hat is a pro uh, free pro group. Uh, on next side. Generated by the word XI. Okay, then, uh, uh, we have the prior version of magnesium embedding. Uh, F hat is in the uh, uh, in the uh, former power series ring with coefficient in ZL. This is former power series ring uh, with coefficient in ZL with non commutative non commutative variable x1 to xr. Uh, which is defined by the same way as in the discrete case by this one, by this map. And I like the uh, uh, xi goes to 1 plus xi. And I like the image of f by 1 plus new hat I want to xn f x i one to x i n. I like uh, I, I use this symbol. <coughs> then, as in the case of link, we define the arithmetic Milna number by the Magnus expansion of the Frobenius. This is Frobenius over PJ uh, with respect to the model me 
of x1 to xn, so 1 plus, is the sum of nu hat i1 to inj x1 to xin. Here is the coefficient, Magnus coefficient is in the erratic integers, erratic integers, and it is called the Milner invariant, erratic Milner invariant. Erratic Milner invariant. Okay, so now uh, I use the following. Let x l to the es to be the max of uh, all l to the power of some e uh, such that the all pi is congruent to one mod l to the power of e. Okay, and we fix. M is L to uh, sorry L to some power of F. L to the power of E, where the E is uh, less than equal to E S. This is we fix such a uh, power of L, and then the, the modern Milner invariant defined by the uh, just taking modulo M of erratic Milner number. And uh, in the arithmetic cases, uh, indeterminacy is uh, a little bit more complicated <laughs> to define. Okay. Uh, as in the case of the link, we have many choices of uh, taking a modulomy and a modulomy of longitude. Actually, this group, GSL, is, GSL, uh, is a gala group of some uh, prior, maximal prior extension, maximal prior extension of rational unlimited outside S and infinity, right? So the meridian, there is many, many choices uh, uh, for the meridian uh, t uh, taking, uh, for taking uh, the model mean and longitude, because if you have a prime number pi, there is many choices of taking prime over pi. So but all these are conjugate, like, like the loop link case. So we have to uh, kill such uh, ambiguity of choice, take choice. <laughs> For that, we define that uh, uh, indeterminacy is just this, the greatest common divisor of new m j, where the j is a, a cyclic permutation uh, of a proper subsequence of i and l to the power of e. Uh, uh, no, so this is a co combinatory number, L to sum of ES. This is a combinatory number, uh, 1 to T, N. It doesn't matter. This is, uh, this is just uh, indeterminacy. And we define the uh, mirror line variant to be the uh, new MI mod this delta MI. Then uh, the theorem is that theorem. Well, theorem is firstly, uh, what's the meaning of new m i j? This is just a power residue symbol. Here, uh, this symbol is uh, this symbol is else power residue symbol. in QPI. Here the zeta L. Zeta L is a uh, uh, L's root of unity. Uh, the L's root of unity. But uh, zeta L, we take zeta L to be the, uh, the com in the common uh, element in for all PI, QPI. Because PI is congruent to one modulo L. So QPI contains the L root of unity. So I, I, I take as a common 
such as L3 root of unity, inside is a QPI, this one. And if uh, the length of March index is uh, bigger than 2 and less than e to the power e s then mu m this Milner invariant is actually uh, invariant is in invariant depending invariant depending only on s and l it's independent of the choice of the uh, modernity and the flow venues. <laughs> so this is a mirror invariant. The arithmetic meaning, arithmetic meaning of this uh, is as follows. If it's arithmetic meaning, uh, to see the arithmetic meaning, we consider the Heisenberg uh, representation of the Gara group at f hat. Define the law i hat with a group homomorphism from uh, this is s uh, h r. Sorry. Yes. Yes. For i is i one to i n. It's Hn, the size n Heisenberg group, uh, with values, the coefficient in the here, uh, here, link, and the here the f goes to the uh, the matrix I defined before. It's a This matrix, or there here. Uh, then the theorem <coughs> is that low i hat the factors through the so Gala group G S L. And that is all subjective homomorphism. This is subjective. And uh, <coughs> yes, such that uh, uh, the, the flow venues at uh, component i, yes, i n, sorry, i n, so, so sigma i n, yes, I, I maybe I, maybe I wrote, uh, I made a mistake. Uh, uh, this is a sigma i n. In the last theorem, and for the link, that I, maybe I like the beta. How is light? I, beta. Behold. Yeah. Beta r. I like beta r. It's not beta r. It's not beta i n. Sorry. This beta i n. It goes to the uh, element of the 1 to 1, 0 new bar i, 0, 0, is airman. So, uh, so if as a ki is a field that correspond to the kernel of rho i hat by Gara theory, then uh, so this prime pi n is completely decomposed in Ki over Q. This is a uh, important extension. It's no abelian extension. This is no abelian extension if and only if it's nu by m. This is m. I is a zero. Uh, this is an arithmetic meaning of the Milner arithmetic Milner invariant. So it describes the uh, decomposition law of in a 
nilpotent, no abelian nilpotent extension. So this symbol is a multiple generalization of the Lujandor symbol. <coughs> for, for example, this this is simple example. Suppose let's take L equal two case, number L equal two case, and consider that S equal P1, P2, P3, the three prime numbers, we take up three prime numbers, P1, P2, P3. Okay. And uh, suppose each PI is congruent to one mod four. Okay. But uh, we take M to be also two. We take M is also this M, is also to be M. Right. And the also the, uh, uh, then the delta m, uh, and I assume that Lujando symbol of each pi and pj is all, all one. Okay. Uh, so this means uh, mu two ij equals zero for all ij. I assume this condition. There are many, many choices of such three prime numbers satisfying this condition. Okay. Okay, then. By this theorem, by the above theorem, Uh, there exists uh, the Gala extension of a rational as uh, the first Gala group is here. First Gala group is H3 Z mod 2. Because I assume this, this is new, new to IJ equal 2. So delta, uh, delta 2, 1, 2, 3 is 0. Because by, by definition of uh, the indeterminacy, this is zero. So uh, this ring uh, becomes F2, simply F2. So there exists a Gala extension whose Gala group is, uh, uh, whose Gala group, K of rational, is uh, H3F2. The, but what is uh, H3F2? It's a three by three Heisenberg matrix and the coefficient in the F2. So it's order eight, order eight finite group. The no abelian. So this is just the hetero group. The hetero group. Order eight. Such that P3 is completely decomposed in K over Q, this is the header group, if and only if the Milner, triple Milner invariant is zero. This theorem uh, shows that there exists uh, such a header extension of rational number field, such that uh, it has uh, uh, this sort of the, uh, uh, decomposition law. This may be interesting, right? Because this is no abelian extension. This, uh, Interesting, but uh, uh, also we can show that actually we can show that uh, minus one to the power of new one two three is uh, uh, symbol p one p two. P3 is red eyes. Uh, this is red eyes triple symbol. Ninety thirty nine. Uh, we can show this symbol. I don't define this symbol. The definition of this symbol is rather complicated. Uh, the letter, this is defined by in ninety thirty nine. 
and the uh, radar used uh, some kind of uh, diheadal extension, and uh, and this symbol is gives some uh, decomposition law over P3. Okay, uh, then as uh, for long, long, long time, it's uh, there was uh, no set meaning of the radar's diheadal extension was known has not been known. But uh, uh, now uh, we knew that the meaning of the radar's dihedral extension is the same as this extension. So, so uh, now, the now the concrete description, concrete description of dihedral extension of K over rational. That's what. This may be interesting for number algebraic number series. Uh, by this condition on the Rudyard symbol, we have uh, the exist uh, integer z such that uh, x square minus one, one square minus p two, z square is zero, and x y z is a prime each other, and y is an even number. And x minus y is congruent to one mod four. Okay. Uh, by this condition, by this condition, we can find such a, uh, a triple uh, integers satisfying this uh, diaphragm equation, and, the and uh, define the alpha two to be the x plus y square root p one, and the alpha one is alpha two plus uh, the conjugate alpha two bar plus 2z square root p2. Okay. Then this dihedral extension is given by this diagram. This is the concrete uh, description of uh, dihedral extension. Okay. So our Milner invariant has uh, uh, described the decomposition law of the P3 in this dihedral extension. This is a concrete uh, description of the field of K. K. Now, I'll give a problem. As for you, for this is a, a te thesis problem for graduate student. Yeah? <laughs> uh, but this is for the young, young uh, people. It's uh, so extend. Red eye symbol, generalized red eye symbol to the, uh, the next case, H4F2 extension. Okay, can you define the uh, generalization of red eye symbol, the four triple, four triple, <coughs> uh, four, four, sorry, no, four, four, four prime numbers, sorry, sorry, four prime numbers, P1, P2, P3, P4. But we know how to define that. We know how to define that, right? How to define that? We, we, now we have Milner invariant. The triple, uh, sorry, the fourth red eye symbol, fourth symbol should be should be minus one to the new two, one, two, three, four, right? Because we know that Milner invariant, Milner invariant, uh, that <coughs> it's general, much, 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 it's general invariant, so. 
for this extension, the symbol should be this, should be this, should be this, but uh, give um, a uh, concrete description, give an uh, extension k over rational concretely. But in this case, this is a 64 degree. Degree is 64, because the degree of this one order, the 64. This is the next thing to do. Uh, since red eyes, that the people are using number sets, try to generalize the red eyes, red eyes result, but uh, they didn't succeed. Because I think the reason is the next one is very big, big extension. Okay? The first one is Gauss. Gauss result. First Gauss, Gauss is a quadratic extension. K just k, k is square root p of something. Then this uh, uh, the Gauss the quadratic residue symbol describes the decomposition of Q in here. The next one is the red eye, the diahedral. The next one is this one. It's uh, Gauss case here. So red eye case is k is uh, the diahedral extension of rational. <coughs> the next one maybe you or maybe they, because this is a degree two, right? This is degree eight. Then next is sixty-four. Okay. Uh, this result obtained ninety uh, uh, eighteen or one. This is this is uh nineteen thirty nine. It's the five hundred <laughs> one century part. The next one is maybe 2000, uh, maybe, <laughs> you think? So maybe you is just try to, this is H3, F2 extension. H4. Oh, a, 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 H, H, yeah, H4, sorry, H4. So man, I think I have, actually I have one thing that, uh, but I have no time to, to stay to myself, to my theorem. So just one thing, L let me just uh, remark the first application, just a few words. First application of Mirna invariant. Okay, is a Gauss. That K is a quadratic field. P1 to square root of P1 to PR. And each PI is congruent to one mod four. Okay, so Gauss showed that. Or uh, let Gauss show that. Uh, two rank of ideal class group of HK is R minus 1. Gauss showed this. Gauss genus theory. Okay, this means the two shiro subgroup, this is a two part, this is a two part, two shiro subgroup of ideal class group, has a form. Right, because this is two rank is one, so there is, the R minus one component here, right? By Gauss theorem, right? So, uh, so the next problem is uh, let let E D to be the E to the two uh, two to the D rank. So this is the rank uh, I, uh, where the I is one to R and. Uh, And the AI is bigger than equal to D, uh, for D. Two, I define the ED to be this is a this is a two to the D rank of HK, two. Two to the D rank, right? Then the Gauss theorem. Uh, 
the same as saying uh, so the E, yes, if it, this is one, uh, the E is one lang, so the e, e, e of one is just uh, R minus one. This is Gauss theorem. But the red eye that <coughs> showed that in 1939, the same paper, uh, he introduced a triple symbol, it's a triple symbol, Red eye, uh, this is 1939, this is uh, 181, show that uh, e to the, the four rank, four rank actually is given by min r minus one minus rank of the following matrix. So this is uh, this matrix has, has value at the, over F2. So we consider we can consider the rank of this matrix over F2, right? By identifying this and this. this so, and uh, this is this formula was shown by red eye. Okay, but now that E3, he also expressed E3 by the triple symbol, by his triple symbol. By red eyes triple symbol. But the result is very, very complicated. You know? Even I don't know that what this means. <laughs> his, formula is, his formula is quite complicated. But so, but uh, by analogy of the knot theory, uh, this matrix is uh, the same as a linking matrix because this is a linking number, mod to linking number. Uh, this is some kind of linking, the sum of linking number P1 to P2, P2 or, or thing. Ah, uh, sorry, this is, this is wrong. DK divided to one. So this is, this is the P2 times PR. This is DK divided by PR. This is the P1 to PR minus one. Okay, right? So it's, so the natural question is that uh, can we uh, express uh, any ED in terms of our Milner invariance? Because the Milner invariance is the multiple generalization of the linking number. And the DS we did. Uh, this is a, my theorem is we can express any ED by the Milner number I1 to IN, where the N is uh, uh, less than D. Uh, but uh, no time to give the formula. This is uh, the, this theorem is in the, uh, some, uh, what? So he, this theorem in the pro progress in mass B coiser. Bar coiser uh, to five. So this is application of the Milner invariant in the classical problem in number theory, algebraic number theory. Yes. Today I, I finish here. Yeah.